Welcome. Just a quick video today for my own curiosity. If you've seen these different types of filament, the shiny silk filaments, they're really cool, but they're also really fragile. They do have some dual core, tri core, multiple colors in a core filament. And I've tried those before also, but always the silk is what it seems like are the options for most of those, which silk is not very strong. So things like with joints or any kind of functional interactions like that don't really work very well. So I thought I would try some matte versions. It's still really cool. It's not super shiny like the silk, of course, but if it's stronger, it would work better for articulation or functionality to it mechanical functionality. So I just have a couple of different ones here. I'm just going to do some quick pull tests and see if the mat holds out any better than the silk does. Both were printed using the same settings, same amount of walls, same percentage of infill with the same type of infill. They were printed different directions. This, that's why I have two. One was printed flat, the other was printed upright. So this one's more going to be a test of the layer adhesion whereas the other is just kind of an overall uh, strength with the pull test. And we'll go ahead and see how those compare, if there even is a difference. Okay, so actually the results of this were quite surprising. It would appear in general that the matte version is a little bit weaker. So just going off of the layer adhesion on these two, with the silk, it broke at about 22 pounds, and with the mat, it broke at about 17 pounds. And then on the overall, the other direction, the silk broke at about 87 pounds, and the mat broke at about only 40 pounds, which I expected them to be very similar, but this seems like it was actually significantly weaker and it doesn't really seem like it. I think that in general, the mat has a little bit more elongation at break or at least it's supposed to. So that was a little bit surprising there. But just to give you kind of a, a comparison with a previous test I did with the same uh, settings as far as infill and walls and things like that. Normal PLA, just standard PLA, layer adhesion is about 53 pounds before it breaks and 101 pounds on the on the other direction the PLA Pro or PLA Plus type stuff on the layer adhesion is about 90 pounds before it breaks and about 130 pounds on the other side so even just normal PLA is significantly stronger than these types of filaments these filaments look really cool, but that's about it. They're not as strong or functional. Uh, so just keep that in mind when you're printing your models. If it's something that's going to need a lot of articulation or some kind of mechanical use, it's going to take a lot of stress in some way, you may not want to use these types of filament for it. But it would be really nice to have some PLA Pro or PLA Plus versions of these dual and three core filaments. And there may be some and I just haven't seen any, but it seems like the vast majority is, is silk and there are a few matte versions out there. But anyway, that's just what I discovered this time. So thought I would forward that. Do with that information what you will. Sure, it was only a single test. Uh, there wasn't a bunch, but I imagine that the variation would be very, very small. So until next time, go print something that looks really cool, but maybe doesn't necessarily take a lot of stress.